Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what part of the world you are in. I am Old Man 102 Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to the Cow Challenge on the Western Wilds map. So where you, I'm actually going to downgrade... Let me check the garage really quick. I think I'm going to downgrade one of our tractors. Yeah, they're both from Papa Smurf. We're actually going to downgrade one of our tractors. We're going to sell... I can't sell it off here. Crap. All right, we're going to sell it off through here. Now, which one is it? Oh, I have no way of telling which one is which, and which one has the more hour. Um, oh, it doesn't matter. If we sell the wrong one, then we'll just have to swap tractors. Oh, look at that. I got the right one. And the reason I'm downgrading is this one... The front hitch is a little bit lower, and it does better with the tree stumps. <clears throat> so we're going to go with the biggest engine. We're going to add the wheel weights, but we're going to make it this really cool blue color so we can tell the difference between the two. And then that rim color has to go. Let's buy this guy. Now this one should work a little bit better with the tree harvest, with the tree muncher. Let's give this a whirl. We are going to need, we're going to need to start making, thinking about diesel. Our fields are not ready yet to start harvesting, so we're not quite ready yet to make TMR. But we're going to need to make, we're going to need a canola field so we can start doing uh, diesel, canola and silage. So we're going to look at that today. We're going to look at our new property. All right, let's go... Let's go down this way. Let's start at the bottom edge of our property and we'll see what kind of trees we have. Hoping that these crops should be ready by the next episode. Because what I'll do is I'll forward time a little bit. We'll sleep tonight. And then these crops should be ready for the next episode. But this episode, we're going to work on a canola field, or possibly two more fields. So we're going to have to take these trees out and bring our mower over. I'm thinking, let's see, where's the edge of our property? Let's take a peek at this. So we are close. So this, right around, yeah, so this road here should be the edge of our property. Just about. So if we go straight back, I think we own a little bit on the bottom side of this road. We do. No, we don't. We own... We have to go up above our... Ooh, we don't own this far down. Alright, we have the money. Do we want to just buy and even us out all the way across? Let's just do it. Just go for it. And we'll use this road right now as a break for our f new field. Let's hit up these trees over here. I don't think there's that many. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll find another gold nugget. Oop, I got out. I wanted to switch implements. So hopefully this thing works a little bit better and gets the stumps with this tractor. It should. We come over and put the once we're done uh, mowing this and we get the plow out, I'm hoping that we find another golden nugget. Now it's going to take a bit to cut the grass. So unfortunately, if you don't want to see a, a, another grass mowing episode, Feel free to skip this episode and hit the next one where we get a little bit more done. Let's hit up these random trees first and then we'll 
run along the edge and see what there is. But yeah, I'm going to try and cut all this grass as well. This way we can get as much silage and grass and TMR going as we can. But hope everyone is doing well tonight, or today, or whatever time you're watching this. It is Friday evening as I record this. Got home from work, um, had some dinner, threw the TV on, sat down to relax. I'm going, you know, it's early yet. I'll get one more video done. I think we are we may need another grass meadow as well. Not a hundred percent sure. Now I'm not sure how much of these trees here we're gonna take out yet either. So we may do some kind of like L-shaped field over here for now, and then leave some grass. Got a couple of these right here on the end. I'm not going to take that big grove of trees out quite yet. Uh, head down this way. We'll work our way back. figure out <clears throat> where we want to set our first cow barn down and where we're going to put them. We'll use this row down here for our dividing point for now. And so we have another road comes around here, which... Right, so what do we have over here? BGA, which we're not going to use. BGA, some bunkers and some storage. Yeah, we're definitely not going to use that. So what we can do is we could probably take some of these trees out, and which we're not going to need this little road either. 
So we can push this field over. Oh, it's is it? Oh, I didn't turn it back on. I say, why is it not? Do we not own this? I, my bad. It may leave some of these in. Let's take some of them out. Probably leave those. We'll pretend that BJ is not there. And then we could probably take one or two off the end here. over this way and then back we'll leave that row well that's outside of our border so we'll just leave that row of trees we can't get to them zap this one out what do we have up in this corner What do we find up here? A homeless camp? Saw something over here. Yeah, that, that is. I'll look another nugget. Oh, I can't get to it though. Oh, he can't get to it. It's at the edge of the map. Can't get to it. Cutting this signpost with a chainsaw will permanently re remove nothing from this map. Aha! <laughs> what? A, that's definitely a dig towards um, no man's land. Yeah, we got plenty of room here. We're not going to need that much canola, because we're really not going to need... I guess we need some diesel, but not as much as, like, a full production map would be. Yeah, we'll leave these trees here for now. down and get those last stragglers here in the middle. We're probably going to need another wheat, <laughs> wheat field just so we can have the extra uh, straw. And then let's take, get these few out on this side, now that we own it. <coughs> we did not own this when we cleared this area. We got, I think we got room here to put start putting some cow pastures down. 
I do want to leave some trees up here on this upper end by the rocks. Probably take this one out and this one out. I'll leave the rest of these. Uh, yes. All right. For now, we're going to dump these into uh, storage instead of running all these down to these down to the cell point. Dump these off. Oh, this one is the slum on the brakes. This one is the silo. Uh, this is not take. This does not take wood chips. It's not my silo. It's the map silo. Oh crap! All right, so I'll edit that to add wood chips to it. So let's leave them in the trailer for now, and let's grab this guy with the mower. Or I can empty that silo and uh, use my own. We'll see. Probably just do a quick edit to it. Why does that look like it's dragging the ground? Because it is dragging the ground. Yeah, we're going to have to do something over here with that area. I'm just not sure what we're doing with that area yet. Uh, let's see if we can get, let's see how much room a cow barn takes up over here. So if we get our butts over this way, kind of, sort of, and we go into here, construction, animals, cow barn large, this should be my edit, yeah, this is my edited one where it will hold 2,000 cows. Can we? Okay, I forgot our camera spins around. Spin this guy. Oh. Uh, possibly. If I can get my camera to stop moving. We put it right up against this telephone pole. Oh, we need room to uh, get in and out. I gotta turn it just a hair. Right about there. We have enough, I'm hoping we have enough room to drive out the back side. Oh, perfect, I think. So we can drive through here. And we can do what we need to do inside. And then we need to get a manure pit for right about here. Here. Um, or do we want to put it like right over here? Now I need to be able to get up the hill. Let's see if we can get a manure pit like right out back. Let's see if I can remember how where they are. Are they under containers? Are they under animals by chance? No. Okay, so they're not under sheds. Uh, which one do we need? Okay, we don't want a bunker. Manure heap extension. I believe this is the one we want. And can we turn it? We can. Can I get it up as close to the barn as I can? I 
Is that the one I want? So there's no more there. Containers, tools, farmhouses. Now I think that's the one we want. Overlaps, overlaps, overlaps right there. As close as I can get it. So hopefully that'll be the manure heap. We can catch it. Alright, that should work. So that's set. So and then we'll put our we'll put a, a row of cow barns down along the road on this side, and then I'll leave some grass on this side. And we'll do the same thing. We'll put a row of cow barns down this side of the road. So working towards the cows for the cow challenge. So when we cut our field, then I got to leave about as much room on this side of the road as we left on the other side of the road. And then we'll just use this road as a dividing line for now. Oh, this is going to be painful. I probably should have ran this through the, um, you know, we've used this so much. I should have ran it through the repair trigger. We should be able to be mowing a lot faster than this. You know what? Let's do a quick detour. And let's run this through the repair trigger real quick, along with the mower. And we'll come back down. It's not that far. Oh, we missed a tree. <laughs> Darn it. Let's come back and get that tree. I'm going to end up probably putting a road along here. And another, or like, along, right along the edge here. I'll probably end up putting another road over this way. But let's run this through here. I forgot I had this down. Yeah, hopefully this thing will mow a little bit quicker now. Try that again. Nope, still going to be at twenty miles an hour. I swear this thing was faster than that. And then on the southern side of the road, we can start our uh, forestry business. Instead of selling off the wood chips, we'll put the mill down, turn it into lumber and furniture. I have Saturday and Sunday off again, which is rare. I'm already scheduled to work the next two Saturdays. I 
So I'm hoping to get, I'm going to have tomorrow off. I'm almost caught up on YouTube video, so I should be able to only, I only need time to record three in the morning. Get them um, re edited, rendered, and uploaded, and I'll sh then I'll be caught up. Then I'll just have to record three on Sunday morning. And then tomorrow I'm hoping to get some more painting done, finish the kitchen cabinets, and, make all the, and then the kitchen should be completely done, except for the floor. And then I'm going to get some, finally jump back in the editor and get a new factory built tomorrow. But yeah, this is going to be a long process. I'll hang for about another 15 minutes, and then um, I'll cut the rest of this between episodes. So next episode we can grab our plow and get our canola field in. And then possibly another wheat field. We'll see if we have room, we'll see if we have time to get two fields in. Now, if we need more grass, we still have half a map left to um, cut more grass fields in. But I'm trying to get us self-sufficient before we start spending the rest of our cash on cows. probably going to take me at least an hour to cut this between episodes. This grass will go straight into the uh, TMR mixers. Now what we could do also is cut in a cornfield for chaff instead of using grass. Um, we can chaff the corn for the uh, silage as well. So we can, depending on how much diesel we need, we can rotate canola and corn. these trees here for now and if we need more room for cow sheds we can take them out. Now that we have the first one in. do one more headland and we'll just start going back and forth. Got my eyes out for those golden nuggets. 
I don't think we spotted it last time until we were plowing. I'm sure if we look around the town and look around all the buildings, we'll find some more. Maybe we'll go on a gold hunt one day. On the other side of the road, between that and the river, is a rainy day project. We'll take all those trees down and we'll start a poplar field over there. And then over here where the BGA is, kind of sort of in front of us, we can take those last couple trees out. And we should have room over here to put the uh, mammoth mill down and the carpentry mill down. We'll keep our foresty stuff together. Yeah, I'm thinking two fields over here. Can't wait till we start getting into our cows. And then we'll do one barn with each type of cow. Or we'll just go with all the same cow, I'm not sure yet. Yeah, this is going to be a long cut between episodes. <laughs> I have to allow myself an extra hour sometimes just to get this grass done. But right now, other than selling off the silos, which I don't want to do, we really have no other income right now. Oh, we have the mill down, I think. So we don't have to put the mill down. We already have one down. That's where the wood chips need to go. I forget what factories. We'll have to go over and see what factories we put, we put down. I don't even remember at this point. I think it's been about two weeks since I recorded the last episode. But if we don't have one down, we'll need to put one down.
Yeah, by the time I get this done, we get these two fields, and it's going to be time to sleep tonight. See, it's definitely worth it because we already have like 790,000 liters of grass. Just by scrounging this up. So whatever I get over here, we'll dump in. We'll split it between both TMR mixers. Keep moving our at work. We have year-end inventory coming up, and they keep moving the date around. First, it was supposed to be next week, the 12th, 13th, and 14th, something like that. Well, by the time this video gets posted, it will be, I think, after that date. But anyway, it was supposed to be around that date. And then they did inventory at another location and ran into some computer issues that they needed to get fixed. So they told us, so last week they told us, well, it's getting pushed out till November, around the 13th, 14th, and 15th, something like that. And then today they tell us, oh, we're moving your inventory up. It's going to be October um, 24th, 25th, and 26th. So they've changed our inventory date like three times already. It's like, make up my mind. I don't want to just get it over with. I think when we harvest that field in front of us next time, I want to. We're going to take the plow back over there. We're going to try and straighten that edge up a little bit. She is as crooked as heck. I can't plow a straight line, and I can't draw a straight line. So I don't know what made me think I can uh, plow a straight line because I can't even drive in a straight line. The road should be fairly straight, so I'm hoping if we take the plow back over there, I can get a better a better line. But I think I'm going to call it here. Uh, between episodes, we'll get the rest of this cut. I don't want to bore you too off too much. But I'm Old Man 102. Please smash that like and subscribe on your way out, and have an awesome day.